So we're here at the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach, sitting in Honda Hospitality with my good buddy and Honda driver, Colin Hurd. How's it going, bud? Good, good, yeah. how are you? I am doing very well. I'm trying to figure out what's in this cup, though, because, so I don't drink coffee. So when they asked us what do we want to drink, you answered, and I just, I'm just gonna have the same as whatever guest we have on this mm -hmm. segment has so I can learn about coffee. So what are we drinking? This is a latte. Um, it is basically just a shot of espresso with uh, hot milk, I believe. But I'm not a coffee expert either. I don't really drink it. It's very hot. I, I was I, I was kind of peer pressured into drinking coffee for this too. So <laughs> you just got the request. You had to say something, yeah. and you landed on a latte. Yeah. All right. It's um it's very hot, and it tastes like coffee. So yeah. I'm gonna give it uh, two and a half out of ten. How about those people that go to like Starbucks and they're like, "Why well, taste the difference?" It's like the same people that are like, "I taste the difference in tequila." They're full of lies. Well, I don't know. I feel like That's there's a, a difference lie. in tequila. I'll teach it you about It all tastes tequila. like nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> and coffee tastes like coffee. Coffee just tastes like trash. It just <laughs> tastes like sewage to me. I don't get it. Um, I hate the people at Starbucks that go in and have like the order that's 14 words long. Double tall, low foam, no cream, extra You probably hot. get a lot of that here too. It's a very LA thing, isn't Oat it? Oat milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pump yeah. of vanilla. Yep, that's, you're actually listing off Becky's order. That's yep. pretty much That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a, you're a California guy. Does that, that's not your coffee order? No. no, I don't drink coffee. It's not my thing. You, just, you don't go to Starbucks for a coffee? No. If I were to have a coffee, I'd make it at home. Okay. Just good old. I don't know what you call it. Just dump the coffee. Americana. <laughs> yeah, I don't even yeah. know. Pot, pot of coffee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you like Do you like racing in Long Beach, or do you not no, like I the added it. pressure? Yeah, I I hate it. No, I love it. <laughs> it's great. It's the It's the first race I ever went to. I was two weeks old. Um, my two dad, weeks. Yeah, my dad had to bring the bus down to this race just so that I could come, um, and he was racing in it, obviously. But it was uh, yeah, it's a race that I grew up going to. I've probably been to. I don't even know. 16, 17 Long Beach Grand Prix since I was a kid. And, um, you know, when I was growing up, I didn't want to, it wasn't like I wanted to do the Indy 500. I wanted to race in the Long Beach Grand right. Prix before, you know, I knew the relevancy of, of the Indy 500. Right. So I grew up coming to this race, wanted to race in this race, wanted to win this race. Um, so yeah, this is like, it's it's not quite equal to the Indy 500 on terms of win for me, but it's, it's right behind it. I think a lot of drivers would say the same thing though, just because the history of this place, right? Yeah. I mean, after Indy, it's the longest running. After Indy, it's I attended. So I think, yeah, it's kind of cool to have that in your backyard as a kid. It's a great home race. But now you've got two home races because you don't live here anymore. Exactly. You just moved to I Nashville. Know. How's the move gone? Um, it's been it's been a lot, you know. For, Obviously, first house, like first first house, first yeah. house purchase. Yeah. Look at you all mm -hmm. grown up. Going from an apartment to a house. Um, no, I. It's. It's a lot. I understand why people like dread moving now and like before I thought it's the worst. It's just dramatic and whatnot. But like now that I'm looking at it, it's like it'll probably be a year until everything is just perfect how I want it. And I just have to accept the fact that there's just trash everywhere in boxes all the time. But I feel like that's that's even for a normal person that's not on the road 230 days a year, right? right. So I, I got news for it. It's probably gonna be like two and a half years before yeah. you feel like everything's right. perfect. Yeah, it's uh it's been tough. You know, obviously we hate that month-long break between the first and the second round. Um, but for me, I loved it because I got to get a whole bunch done. Yeah. And then now I probably won't touch anything for the next, I don't know, four months, five months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny though, like hearing you talk about how having time off in between races, now you just want to go home and knock stuff off your to-do list at the house. Like an old man. You're a grown-up now. Yeah, How's that it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. I still get in my many hours of video games though, so don't worry. I'm That's still, important. still a kid at heart. Got to keep balance. Any other uh, any other big purchases lately? Buy yourself any fancy cars or I, bought a jet yet? I mean, that's I did to buy, me. I, I, I did buy something, but everybody will see it later. Oh, you know what it is? I do. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When when when's the world gonna learn about it? Um, some point in. I don't even want to say. Okay. I don't even want to say because you were about to say May though. No. 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 Maybe. <laughs> okay. Speaking of May. You have, it's very well documented that the drivers mess around in the bus lot. There's yep. pranks every year. Yep. I got blamed for a lot of things that, that you did. I absolutely had a very big part in, and a couple that I didn't. I have admired your ability over the last sort of four or five years to be very heavily involved in pranks and yet cop zero blame. What's your secret? I don't do them. That's, that's blatantly, the, patently that's, untrue, Cole. And that's the secret. I have video evidence. I steer clear of, of everybody and their crimes. belongings. 
I'm a perfect uh, child of God and I don't do anything that would make him angry. I have so. video proof of you committing low level felonies in the bus lock. No, it must have been somebody else with long hair. Okay, so who's, who's, the, who's the target this year? Let's work uh, on one together. They're gonna blame- I'm not gonna say anyway. anything. I can't say anything on here because I've never even thought of doing something. Destroying, vandalizing property, something like that. There, nobody's buying this, man. Oh, nobody's yeah. buying it. Innocent until proven guilty. Whatever. Are you, uh, since you since you moved away from California, how does that affect the uh, progress of the zips? I know. Stagnant. Is it stagnant? Is, it, is the band about to break up? <laughs> you Are know, you Yoko Onoing this yeah, band? Yeah, I need to. So I'm. I'm too good. I need to go on my solo venture right now, and then come back for a world tour in like five, six, <laughs> they just, seven years. They just don't appreciate your talent. <laughs> exactly. They're not playing at your level. No, it's it's tough. You know, it's uh, obviously when you move, you've done it. Everybody's done it in IndyCar. Uh, you move away from home and you give up a lot. Uh, obviously, seeing friends and family and whatnot—that's a big part of it. Um, and so, yeah, obviously the. The band has, has hasn't gotten as much playing time as I wish it would. Every I come back every month or so, right. and we still play together. But uh, it's a lot tougher than than it used to be. For yeah, sure. yeah. Now that you live in like the live music capital of the world, are you gonna start like just moonlighting on you know Tuesday nights of non-race weekends, like in a big fedora, hat, and just yeah, just playing drums for some local no, guy? I can't because I hate country music. Ah, that makes it significantly tougher. Yeah, you picked a weird place to move. I know. For some and I mean, it's music. it's cool to go down there. They're all like amazing musicians. Yeah, and it's pretty crazy to see how good people are at at creating music. But um, yeah, no, I just I can't do more than like 20 minutes. Why Nashville? Why'd you go there? Um, close to Indy, you know, it's a, it's a place that doesn't have terrible winters. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really yeah, want to be in Indy true. for the winter time. You're a California boy, you're not built for that. Yeah, and even Nashville's a little chilly. You know, it doesn't quite freeze, but it gets you're talking pretty to close. You're Canadian, calm yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it, it seemed like a great place to be. Um, you know, it seemed like a place that will hold its investment on a house and, you know, it can, be there forever and you just really tight with joseph so you wanted to be closer <laughs> you no. want to be a good uncle to coda yeah, exactly yeah that was that was more present as i need Coda's to be life. i need to be next to joseph <laughs> i need to <laughs> all right so we'll end with this your real hometown is here in long beach your adopted now hometown is nashville you've already won long beach so would you rather a second long beach win or a first nashville win if you could only have one this year uh only have one second long beach win. Second for sure I would love to tie Al Jr. And I think it's six. Um, He's the yeah, he is the leader there. Um, king of the beach. And yeah, so it would be awesome if I can keep winning here. Every year, preferably. Yeah. But I'll take a few every other year. All right. Well, hey, best of luck this year. Let's add a second one to the, uh, to the tally. Cheers. Cheers, bud.